Hey friends, so we're here at Mia's house who's pregnant. She's in her first trimester. As you can see, I'm in the middle of doing the pregnancy event with her. Um, she's having a checkup by her doctor. And today we're going to decorate her baby nursery. Um, so this is her home. Um, it's just one of the basic pre-decorated homes. And uh, as you can see, the crib is right outside of the bedrooms because I still haven't decorated the room. Um, Mia herself has a pretty nice room, very big. Uh, she has a lot of closet space. A huge bathroom and then right off like the bathroom there's the extra room in the house which I'm going to turn into a nursery it's a pretty nice room and I like some of the pieces in here and I'm going to try to incorporate it into the room but we're going to go ahead and turn it into a baby room so the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys like a, a view from the top I was inspired for this room by the curtains the beautiful curtains I'm showing you something else now but the curtains is what inspired me to decorate it based around that um, I have these beautiful paintings that I'm not going to be able to use because they don't make sense. Um, that really nice, like, shelf with decorations on it. It's really cool. I love the chair. The curtains, as you can see, are beautiful. You can light them up. And, yeah, that's what inspired me, uh, for this room because she's having a baby girl. So I think the curtains are just perfect for this room. And we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of most of the furniture and then we'll get into the actual decoration part. Okay, so this plant here, I was I put it in the center to see if I liked it or not. I think I'm gonna keep it around at least until the baby is like uh, very young and won't be able to get to it and it's not dangerous for the baby. So I like a little bit of green, like natural greenery in the room. I think it's a really nice contrast and I just love it. And it goes nice with that part of the curtain that's like garland and green. So, so the baby's already growing in this crib. I feel like I might change it once the baby's born because I might, I think I changed my mind about the theme that I'm going for. Or at least I want it slightly different. But it is a really beautiful um, crib. And I am going for more of like, I guess, greens and creams and whites and very nice and bright kind of a room. Um, as you can see, I was showing you, you cannot place the crib right along the, uh, the window because the curtains are kind of bulky. And I usually like the crib around the window, but I'm going to place it here on this wall just because it's an issue with the curtain. This is the crib that I'm showing you that I think I would have picked out, but I'll wait until the baby's born. Um, this one is really beautiful. That's one of the new, uh, from the new uh, update, but I used that already on a, on a few babies and I'm going for a different theme. So I'm going to stick with this crib for now. Then once the baby's born, I switch to a new one and I'm going to go ahead and pick a rug. I like this, this one right here this gray one i think it's so beautiful light gray i'm gonna go ahead and center the crib with the dark gray walls i think it goes pretty lovely and also the gray floors for some reason i just love the whole theme and then like a few pops of color i think it's a really nice nice idea to pair together those things um now for the changing table i was so confused it's a girl so i really feel like once i change the crib when she's born i'll change that too but i wanted something that was girly but also not too out there. But I, of course, went ahead and chose this chair first. This chair is from the new collection, and I do love it because it has a little pop of pink, but it's cream, like white. It's not too, too colorful. And then I feel like, let me show you a close-up. Like, this changing table is perfect with it. You have the navy blue, then the pink, like, changing pad on top, and the, um, the little bag area with all the um, products that you need to clean your baby's um, bottom uh, is also pink. And I feel like that matches the chair perfectly. This script goes nicely with it, but the other one that I showed you earlier has a touch of navy that I think is perfect and a touch of pink as well. So that's why I wanted to pair it together. I love this chair because it's from the new collection and I like using new things. Um, I already didn't use the crib because I used it too much, but I wanted to use the chair. Now I'm looking for something extra to add. So I feel like I need a little bit more. And oh, now I'm going to compare... Uh, these two changing tables this one has a bit of gray whereas the other one has navy let's take a look at them you have like gray with sort of a peachy wood and then like a mint color i feel like the one with navy and pink goes perfectly with the rest of the room so i'm going to stick with that for now this is what it's looking like i think it looks really pretty really clean this chair is staying in here because i just love it i think it's perfect um so you can have an extra seating area in the room in case 
um, there's someone else in the house who wants to hang out with the baby. So, okay, so this is what the room is looking like. I love it. I love the plants right there, the chair, the curtains, everything's looking great. Um, as you can see, I placed this uh, decoration in here in this little like side table. Um, inside the closet because it has some pink and gold on it and I think it's beautiful and that closet area um, I loved it too I think it matches perfectly with the rest of the room so I left it there like that mirror um, closet so I love that let's go ahead and add a few more details and I think I just need a few more things this room is looking pretty complete maybe something on the wall uh, some lighting I want some, um, I want a picture. I don't really like the pictures they have for babies. I feel like they're all the same. You have like either navy, nautical, or you have like a fox. I wish it was something a little bit more girly. Even in like the regular paintings for regular decorations. But I really didn't find too much. So I think I ended up going with these down here. Um, they're like from the nautical theme, but they're um, sort of... I want to say light gray, almost like light green. And they do have like a pop of pink. Maybe it's red and it just looks muted and it looks kind of pink. I'll show you in a second. But I think it being so muted makes it perfect for this room for like the light grays and the soft pinks that I have going on. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pick that out. But I want to add something else before I go ahead and show you like the rest of the room. I'm just having a really hard time deciding like i want more baby options uh, i want more things that i'm able to customize with i know i'm going to end up getting the owl night light because i love it it's so adorable it's so cute and perfect for a baby's room so i know i'm going to end up getting that but i want more customizable things to decorate baby's room and things that you actually can do things with not just cute things you know i chose this bookshelf i think it's really pretty i'll show you everything once it's set um it's really pretty i love the little um uh, items in the bookshelf i wish that you could um interact with them but you can't but they're still really pretty and they add a really nice touch to the room um there's some color in the bookshelves and i really like that and i went ahead and picked the owl night light and now let's take a look uh right away let me just show you the painting is really pretty it's almost like a muted green but i think it works well with the room it's the best painting that I could find. The bookshelf, it has to move. It's bothering me so much. It does not look really good over there. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and move the chair. Because it doesn't make sense. There's no, other, no other wall in this room that makes sense for the bookshelf. The bookshelf just has to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and move the chair like right there on the rug. I, think, I don't think it looks bad. It's not bothering anybody. Um, I don't think so. That I can go ahead and place the bookshelf right there. feel like it has... It offers the perfect amount of space between all the big furniture pieces. As you can see, you have changing table, then you have your bookshelf. So beautiful. I love all the little details in the book in the bookshelf. I just wish we could interact with it. Um, that extra chair I feel like doesn't bother me. Let me know what you think. But I feel like the extra chair does not bother me at all where it's at. And then you have the closet behind. I feel like it's aesthetically pleasing. It looks really pretty. You have the plant, you have the crib. It's like, oh no, I'm trying to see the chair. I'm trying to see if this chair looks good here, but I do not like it at all. I was about to get rid of the plant if the chair looked good. doesn't make sense because, again, the curtains are very bulky and they take up a lot of space. So it doesn't look good at all. So I'm going to go ahead and put the chair back, put the plant back, and leave things the way they are. Because I feel like it wasn't bothering me at all. You don't need the entire center rug to be empty. I don't think like it's necessary, especially for the few first few months of a baby's life. They're not going to be bothered by that. Now I'm looking for something extra and I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, this very pretty mobile right on top of the crib. Um, there's a few to choose from, but I really love this one because it looks very rustic and just really beautiful. And it has a little fox which matches the crib. Um, and I think it looks really beautiful. I love the whole um, style of it um now i'm just trying things out i'm not gonna leave this here but i'm just trying to see how this looks the baby mat is so bulky and just is not aesthetically pleasing at all but i feel like i need something else that's what the mobile looks like it looks so pretty and perfect with the room it doesn't um i feel like distract from the rest of the room at all 
now i'm looking for something extra just because i want something cute so i went in the toddler section to try to choose a toy that will look cute but won't distract too much from the rest of the room so i chose this teddy the colorful one and i usually prefer for it to be a little bit higher but i did not want to add like any nice stands or anything extra any extra furniture because it will be too much like room being taken up on the floor and it will look too the room will look too busy in my opinion even though it, it is a little bit busy now let's be honest but it's not bothering me as much so i i'm still looking for something else and i didn't find anything else so i think i'm going to leave the teddy on the floor just because it's colorful and it's cute and it's adorable i'm looking through the um decorations to see if i find anything else and i don't think i'm finding anything else at all but so far i think i'm very pleased with the room and let's go ahead and take a final look at how this baby nursery turned out okay so this is like a view from the top of the room i think it looks gorgeous i love the colors i love everything and now let's come out here like to the hallway and walk into the room and see what it looks like if we're pleased with it um as soon as you walk in you have the beautiful changing table uh, with the beautiful paintings um and then we're going to go ahead and see that beautiful teddy in the floor i think it looks so pretty it doesn't bother me at all the changing table i love the colors i love the whole um theme it looks clean it looks nice it looks perfectly nice with the wall um the bookshelf i love it i love the everything on it i wish we could take things off the bookshelf and do something with it the closet i love i love the plant like the, the beautiful um decorative plant the vase inside the closet i think is beautiful the plant i love even more now the curtains again are my inspiration it's like a peachy almost creamy peachy flower that you see on it and i think it goes perfectly with the rest of the room the flooring in here you can turn them off i'm showing you can turn off the lights and then turn it on i think it just looks beautiful the flooring in here i love it it's wood flooring then the rug is perfect i love the chair as i mentioned earlier i love the pink on it the fruit on it the crib is really nice i'm going to change it when the baby's born but i do like it for now i love the mobile and i love the night lights turn it on turn it off i think it's pretty um the room is beautiful guys uh, and this is the final look so anyway stay tuned for the rest of um mia's journey with her pregnancy i hope that you enjoyed this video i'm going to be sharing when her baby's born thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video and i had so much fun and i will be doing this very soon again bye Hmm.